All right, today's tutorial is this really simple stamping mani, but I wanted to uh, show you something just because I had just done it. Um, so this is El Corzon Kaleidoscope uh, Cooper Flame. I think that's supposed to be copper, but it says Cooper Flame. Um, and um, it had completely dried out. It was about half filled and it only had the pigment and the shimmer left in it. All the um, liquid had evaporated off because I had not closed this cap tightly and I hadn't used it for months, maybe uh, over a year. Um, so when I had opened it up, it had seriously evaporated to the point that the pigment was like almost solid. Um, so what I did there is I just put my regular polish thinner in it, the Beauty Secrets one from Sally Beauty Supply. Um, and this is what I use for all my polishes because it's cheap and easy to get and what have you. Um, it contains butyl acetate and ethyl acetate and heptane. The heptane is actually um, reported to uh, melt glitters, but I don't have very many glitter polishes, um, so that's not a big concern for me. Um, but if that is a concern for you, then you should just get... Um, a thinner with just those first two ingredients and not the heptane, but, um, so that was just an FYI. Um, so what I did was I filled it up almost all the way to the top with the thinner, and then I had to actually leave it for, um, a week or so. I shook it up every day and just, uh, let it sit and let the, let the thinner penetrate into, um, into the pigment and shimmer. And then um, I tested it and it worked, but either I don't remember this um, color correctly or I just was, or something faded and it just wasn't as um, vibrant as I remember it being. So what I did was I added um, some of the, the red shimmer one, um, which is uh, the Paradise. And just to give it a little bit more color to it. And I, I just stuck to the same brands just because, you know, the, the formulas are more likely to be very similar. And so I wasn't really worried about compatibility issues. But then I got a polish color that I really like. And it is sort of a coppery color, has a little bit of um, more of that orangey tint that you see in the bottle. Um, and I really quite like it. So, um, going on to the tutorial, uh, I have just a, one coat of the OPI uh, Russian Navy Suede, um, which is one of my favorites. And then I'm going to be using this plate from What's Up Nails that I got for review, and it's B032. And I actually like every single image on this plate, which is pretty unusual for me. And it doesn't have any dupes either, which, which I, I really love. But there's a lot of swirly, twirly sort of um, images. I think that'll be great for sort of a half and half manny kind of thing. Um, but the one I'm going to use today is this one here, okay? And I like to scrape um, on the long edge as opposed to the short edge. Sometimes you can't help it because depending upon where the image is, but I like to avoid trying to scrape along the edges because they usually either taper off or just curve away and do something um, a little bit um, different than the rest of the flat edges. So, okay, going on to the tutorial, finally. All right, so I told you I have my nails prepped with the uh, uh, Russian Navy suede, and then I have uh, my clear latex on, okay? And I'm using my Creative Shop Hollow Glassy Stamper and a Creative Shop um, Flexible sc Scraper. Sorry, just opening that bottle. And then I do my usual where I put it across about half of the image. Okay, and then I scrape twice, pick up, okay, and then stamp it on the nail. Then I make sure 
those edges are stuck down okay, before removing the latex. Okay. And I really like the sort of suede finish of this um, with the combination of the shimmery uh, polish. So I am not going to apply top coat to it. Just clean up and take a pick. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching.